remember, it. just give the information how to find it. Oh, you can get this. You just go to, um, this is going to be on Amazon, uh, barnesandnoble.com, and Graham, just type in Friendship Sanctuary. So they don't have to type in your name, just type in the. You can if if you really like me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but well, I think everyone will really like you, so yeah, they, yeah. they should yeah. put your name in. Yes, but that book is coming in the future. This book right now, mm -hmm. it, uh, this is uh, Warren Lane. It's uh, it's kind of like the far side, but if you instead of like being on cows, it's kind of on pop culture. Mm -hmm. um, so I was I drew these like when I was a teacher, like on my lunch break. I could, I could share one of them with you. They're all like one off. <laughs> Are you still a teacher? Yes, I am actually. Uh, let me show you one you of my. You have a master's in. Um, special education. Special education. And one through six. There's one that it's really short. I'll show you. Isn't there a real famous guy that's a part of this? Yes. Uh, here, I'll show you this one. I'm actually, a couple of famous people. Uh, well, it's just me and him on this one. Okay. Uh, so this is. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll describe it. Like this is kind of like the type of humor you're in for. It's like it's get these two guys in a desert, and this guy's like, it's so hot. And the other guy's like, but not as hot as your mom. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you have voices for that one? Yeah. It's so hot. But not as hot as your mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now tell us about this guy. Um, Eddie Deason. So yeah. he, I could be. Um, I he could was be in Greece. He was in Greece. He was Eugene, yeah, the nerdy right. guy. Right. Um, he, he's mostly known for. Um, uh, uh, Mandark on Dexter's Lab, the guy was like, ah, ha, 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 like that. Okay, okay. Uh, he's been Disney, Spielberg, we could be here all day, but um, I want to hear about eyebrows, so. Um, he wrote the foreword to the book, so he said some nice things about me and mm -hmm. about how I'm a good artist. And, and what, what's his name now? Eddie Deason. Eddie Deason, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Zachary is a man of many talents, and uh, we're here to make sure that you guys aware and we're not through with him yet because what I've learned as a interviewer is that you still gotta go deeper and deeper and deeper. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've spoken to Ravi, this is Ravi Daroga. Yes. I've spoken to her a number of times and each time I've gotten a little bit more out of her and now I find out that she speaks fluent I never knew that fluent Hebrew and that you're married to a Persian guy. Yes. So I'm sure there's more. But before we get there, tell us about your entrepreneurship kingdom. Yes, so I have a makeup brand. It's called Forever Magic Cosmetic with a number four. And the reason that, one? of course, the reason that I chose this name because I believe that uh, makeup can create magic. And our slogan is let the magic of cosmetics begin. Mm -hmm. um, so it took me three years to develop this product. And what's unique about this product is for the eyebrows. And I know that a lot of my friends and makeup artists. I've been checking out your eyebrows, oh, actually. Thank you. So it means it's good. Um, <laughs> we, they were very frustrated because of um, that they couldn't find a product that is long lasting. They wanted to go to the pool, they were sweating, and then I said, so there must be a way to make a product that will make your eyebrows like bald, and some ladies, they don't even have an eyebrows, so it's, it's as you know, eyebrows are the frame of the face. Mm -hmm. So I create this long lasting, water resistant, smudge proof product, which come with a brush. Also, I enrich it with a castor oil, which castor oil is good for the skin mm -hmm. and wrinkle. Mm -hmm. And what's unique about it, we pour two colors into one glass jar and basically in the beginning of the brow you can put the lighter ch shade and then arch and tell the that, darker. That's it? That's a brush. That's a brush. Can we try it out on Leah? Um, honestly, <laughs> said, I, didn't, I, don't think so. <laughs> I didn't bring the right color because she needs a hocus pocus blonde. Oh, we have wow. like four colors, mm -hmm. like magical Ooh, name. Hocus pocus. Yeah, we uh, have lake. hocus pocus blonde, mystical top, magic double dazzle shade brown. Double shade seductive. Double shade seductive wow. eyebrow gel is the name of the product. I want, I want mine to be seductive. It is seductive. But hocus pocus. <laughs> <laughs> you I see, like that you too. like everything. Yeah. Pass it down to you. Yes. Um, oh, the black sense. one is a abracadabra black, so oh, that's wow. the name. Yeah. Do you have anything in the winter? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I will work on it, but. Uh, I'm just joking. Yeah. Yes, I'm yes. Um, so yeah, but uh, I decided to go to this field because I really wanted to make you know my consumer happy, and each mm -hmm. time they post a picture and uh, they like it and they 
review it good, it's like make me happy because it's all, you know, it's a self-confidence. Like when you don't have eyebrows or you have, so people look at you. The first thing they look is they look to your eyes. When I speak to you, I look to your eyes, your eyes, your the eyes. Windows of the soul, and, right? Yeah, and like it's, it's uncomfortable. So I wanted something to give self-confidence. That's why it's so important to me, charity. And on our website, we donate $1 from each transaction. Mm -hmm. Right now we work with two non-profit organizations. One is the American Cancer Association that mm -hmm. we donate, and another one is a Show Hope USA, which they feed the homelessness. So it was really important to the cool. charity. Well, yeah. Let me ask you this: How did you get your start and um, your training? And this might sound weird. How did you t keep out of? Because these everyone in this building I brought in so far today has had their face, including me, in somebody's film. Mm -hmm. With a face like that, how have you not been on films and magazines? How did um, you manage to do that? Um, <laughs> honestly, that might be your greatest gift. Yes, yes. Staying out of, out of Hollywood, right? Yes. <laughs> um, as my business, because beauty, fashion, um, and entertainment are all together, so I do go to a lot of red carpets, and I've been already in a few magazines since it's my business. See, I told you. Yes, and I wasn't comfortable initially more. to do that, but then I figure out that in order for people to understand how our charity work and for beauty companies to do donate more even that I'm a startup I'm donating so if you are a big corporation you must do that so in order to bring my voice voice out so I have to do this thing so I do mm -hmm. go to red carpet interviews and magazines and um, how did I start I used mm -hmm. to mix my mom formulas when I was teenager and mess all of her expensive makeup and create new formulas. Like and a little mad scientist. Yes, and she got <laughs> uh, upset, but now when it's become a business, so I guess she's happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has, she actually, has she told you? Have, has she talked to you about that? Yes. What she, she said. She said, you know, it was worse for you to destroy my expensive makeup, and now <laughs> I understand why you were so into it, and uh, she's so happy that we are into a charity. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm now in a process of creating a nonprofit organization um, that will uh, create, uh, will help like women that struggle and that they. Mm -hmm. I've been into domestic violence uh -huh. and uh, yeah, I'm trying my best. It's a new company, but mm -hmm. still why, as much as. Why did as you we want to um, create that particular nonprofit? Like, what was it about that particular um, topic that? inspires you? Um, so because um, I know that uh, I'm an immigrant, so as you can hear my accent. Mm -hmm. I moved here in uh, 2009 and I struggle a lot from, from, from Israel okay. and I struggle a lot and uh, I needed to take loans to create this business. I was so many times people told me no, especially it's such a competitive field even beauty influencer, and now all of a sudden we have beauty influencers that have 300,000 followers and up mm -hmm. uh, using my product, and it was struggle, it was struggle. So I don't want um, immigrants, and I don't want not just immigrants, like uh, women, to be struggle. I want to help, because mm -hmm. I didn't have like a teacher or consulting or have the money to go to a consulting company and pay $10,000 for them to, to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. So if I can bring my knowledge and what I learn um, during these three years, I would like to help as much as I can. That's why, cool. yeah. So that's your mission to empower? Yes. And to bring up the downtrodden and mm -hmm. off of your tribulations, turn it around and help somebody else out. Definitely, as much as I can, yes. Very cool. So now, I'm pretty sure, didn't you have a nonprofit, or are you working with a nonprofit? No, I, not in I could particular. Have, I could have sworn that you were. I mean, I do, I go and I help the homeless, but but I don't have a, my own nonprofit, but I do work with one. Okay, cool. That's cool. How yeah. about you, Zach? Are you doing any nonprofit work? I mean, I like to help as much as I can, though. Um, I used to, uh, I actually used to work for a, uh, uh, when I lived in New York, I used to for Canines uh, Companions of uh, Independence, which actually is here in California, mm -hmm. uh, where we help uh, people find service dogs. Than that, mm. that was always nice. Yeah, one of our guests, Laureen, she went to bring on her pit bull, but I didn't tell her. But I have a very serious uh, thing about pit bulls. If, if if they're not about this big. 
and that tall, I don't want them around me. <laughs> you know, I, I like them when they're nice and puppy, but. The thing about no. pit bulls are, it's just that like, I mean, they're just like any other dog. I mean, but if you, you treat them like garbage, they'll, they'll be like aggressive. And it, it just goes down to the owner though, because a lot yeah. of them are sweet dogs with yeah. big heads. You can, you can actually pet the whole dog's head with just your one hand. I mean, um, Oh, sorry, I'm a big uh, animal lover, mm -hmm. so that's why I certified PETA this to be vegan, my product, and oh, cruelty and free. Yeah, I thought yeah, I saw you that. You can yeah. see the bunny here. Cruelty oh, free. bunny. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we work mm -hmm. also with PETA, we've donated a lot of money to them because uh, to me it's really like if we want to be beautiful, we don't need to harm like innocent animals. There is no need for that, especially that there is ways to do product vegan and cruelty free mm -hmm. even with a hassle and you need to make sure and everything it's way worse it so if you are entrepreneur that want to open any anything especially in beauty like it can be shampoo hair product makeup cosmetic please make sure it's vegan and cruelty free mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you, you don't eat any meat whatsoever? Uh, I'm not a vegan. You I mean, though. yeah, I'm, 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 I'm in a process no of doing that. I, I'm not a big meat uh, lover. I'm more into vegetable and fruits and drink a lot of water. And mm. I believe that's how we, we used to be in the old age or times. And that's how we should be, like as minimal as possible and not eat like uh, processed food or anything. Mm -hmm. So, um, first, I think the second, one of the first times I started, it was, it was on a red carpet. Yes. And it was at Haas uh, Wellness. Yes. Did you um, collaborate with them? Did you do anything to help them out? Actually, I did collaborate with Beauty Influencer in this uh, specific event, and mm -hmm. it was a spa event. Um, there was a Jess, her name is Jess, and she has a big YouTube channel, like over 300,000 mm. um, uh, subscribers. So she, after two months, all of a sudden, all of my followers on Instagram and Facebook, they approached me and they said, oh my God, she review you, she review you, and I didn't even know. So mm. she grabbed our product because I gave it as a gift bag in this event, and mm. she review it, and I was like waiting, just like, patiently to see because it was a long review on YouTube, it's usually 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. when she reached to my product, she said, oh my God, I love it. It's so pigmented and it doesn't mm -hmm. smudge, it doesn't move. Here, you see, I can do like that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on my... How do you do that? Because <laughs> that's what took me three years to develop, you see? It doesn't smudge. That's cool. It's yeah. a secret of your art, right? Yes, it's a secret Company formula. secret. <laughs> I cannot tell you. It's not people, is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> yes. vegan and creative free. Okay, gotcha. The vegan part. You missed yeah. the vegan part. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you so say say hi to her. What, what's her name? She must be a very powerful person to give you a review and also. Yes, boom. it's makeup by uh, Jess. Uh, that's the name. Oh, okay. Yes. And uh, there is a lot of beauty influence. So um, it's so important to work with people that you feel connected, even that it's through email. Some of them mm -hmm. I know personally because I go to a lot of beauty events like BeautyCon and all of the festivals. So I take picture with them. They already know me. I believe in a one-to-one, -one, like a person uh, to do business um, with each other, even that it's an internet business still. I like to, to know who I'm mm -hmm. working with or collaborate yeah. with. So. Definitely. Yeah, so now, did, did I meet you at the World Networks twice or just once? I've been also in their gala. So, have you been in their gala? Uh, probably. Yeah. yeah, so I was or maybe there at also. some fashion shows? Yes, I was at, also in a fashion, a fashion show week. in a, Yes, in downtown. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, I, the Suwon, I, I Honestly, I, I keep forgetting I keep all, the event, <laughs> all the events. I'm trying as much as limited because I still, you know, I'm a business owner. I'm not just here to go and mm -hmm. on red carpets. Mm -hmm. It's nice and mm -hmm. fun, but at the end of the day, there is work that I need to do mm -hmm. and my charity work and my husband and my life. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, Kids, I've seen. Do you have any little bambinos yet? No, not yet. Are you going to? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured, okay. You I go personal, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Married kids? <laughs> uh, divorced kids. Oh, but yeah. I, I kept thinking, I keep bouncing into this woman over and over and over again. And then, and then sometimes I uh, take like videos of, of you. So I was like, huh, well, let me see if I can get her onto my show. 
I was like, oh, thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I'm yeah. honored to thank be here. Yeah. We're very, very honored too. But now I see that you stated your, sounds like your, one of your life's mission is to empower because evidently you must have gone through some stuff and had like a, maybe almost a supernatural transition from maybe poverty to where you are now. Yes. So now you want to help people. What would be your uh, mission, Zachary? Well, mission is to make people happy, but also experience a difference in everyone else's life. I mean, because I mean, if you can make someone laugh, I mean, just, I mean, someone could be going through like a really tough day and just, or someone's problem. I mean, it doesn't take the problem away, mm -hmm. but it's just for that moment, you're just laughing. And it, it's also nicer if you're try, if you're at a bar and you want to, uh, if you want to uh, talk to someone, like, hey, I read this really, have you read any books? Well, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but back to what I was saying was, uh, it is, that's kind of what I want to do. And also if maybe I can eventually incorporate teaching, because the best thing is like to make learning fun do that I mean because mm -hmm. let's face it I no one really wants to go to school or anything like that but if mm -hmm. you can make it less evil then mm -hmm. Definitely. and you're writing it as well well I mean yeah I write and draw mm -hmm. sometimes I like I love to collaborate because I think projects are better also like like mm -hmm. this book this is a collaborate we have like six people on our team I mean mm -hmm. I'm one of the head writers and storyboard artists but it always feels better when someone also like you share a vision or you help mm -hmm. someone else it's collaborative. It's a lot of people are like, oh, it has to be my vision or you just go away. But mm -hmm. no, it's better when you actually have a team. And Right. Know. Well, you've been in L.A. for three years, and we had this conversation earlier about I was asking you where you're going to produce. Then you said, well, um, I think you were thinking about the obvious that it takes money to funding to do that. So I was saying one of the things I've noticed is, uh, you know, in California, you have to network. You have to uh, find out what other producers are doing. Just like she said, she can help someone, her experiences. As long as you keep getting out there and going to different places, speaking to other producers, someone's going to come on board and help you do that film that you're probably thinking about doing, but maybe there's something holding you back because you're a very unassuming person. You don't just come jump on and say, hey, by the way, I've done anime, I do voiceovers, I direct, I, I'm, I got IMD bait, I have a teacher's, you're, you're, you're a very humble person, so you have a lot of things going on. I like if, a rack. If they, if they knew your IMD page, they'd be like, whoa, because I, I saw, I was like, man, you know, because cause I know him, but I never, I, you know, I just thought that, that you wrote. I write. That, that, that you write, you, you direct, he's been in movies and stuff, and acting, wow. so, done a lot of and stuff. And stunt work. Yeah, and see. Oh, you do stunt work too. Yeah, I actually. Oh. Do you do the voices as you jump? Uh, <laughs> not, that would be cool. That would, that would be cool. Yeah. Hi That's funny. Hi <laughs> no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, but since we're on that subject, what kind of movie, when you do finally get your foundation or whatever you need to direct something? What kind of movie would it be? Well, I have an idea. That's, it's based off a joke in here, but I, my idea for like, if I were to make a live action movie, it would be kind of like, it would be kind of like a very, it would be kind of a, like a Woody Allen kind of movie because I kind of look like him. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I put my glasses on, I look entirely no, like him. Actually, I was, I, I was kind of thinking that, but yeah. I, was, oh, let me see. I wasn't going to say right. it. I wasn't going to say yes. it. Let me see you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Gee, yeah. one time in like Brooklyn. <laughs> Yeah, um, I would be, it would be kind of like that kind of style. I didn't think you wanted me to say it, but I was like, I'm not going to say it. He's gonna, yeah, I said it for you. Um, but it would be kind of a, my, I thought it was a really funny premise where this guy, like, he's like a, he's like a criminal, but instead, but he's so bad that instead of sentencing him to jail, which is full, they make mm -hmm. him repeat his junior year of high school. <laughs> and if he fails, he has to go to real jail. Uh. So like movies with premises like that, but it would mm -hmm. be more sophisticated. It wouldn't be like modern day comedy about genitalia and defecation. It would actually be kind of more, it would be more um, high wit, because I think that's kind of the problem with a lot of comedies where just always like, because like adult gets confused with mature. Like yeah, because yeah. you know, like you see a movie from like the '40s or '50s, like they they couldn't have the luxury of like a PG-13 or R rating. They, everything had to be like PG or G, mm -hmm. right. so they had to be very sneaky and clever, also with their effects too. So I think maybe we kind of need a time out with that. Also, we need to stop remaking everything. I think we do have, have some to, original, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, content. Well, 
Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe we should have like some sort of crime that should be applied to people who remake something and it comes out jacked up. Because in my opinion, what they did to Dark Shadows should be a crime. You ever seen the remake they did of Dark Shadows? You ever heard of Dark Shadows? Google it and then, and then Google what they put Johnny Depp in. Okay. Because it's about this vampire and about this real dark situation, this this home and this family and stuff. And then I was like, oh wow! I mean, you know, act like Johnny Depp. Oh, it's gonna be off the chain. And I looked at it. And I was like, oh my god! I I, I can't even watch it. I was like, what the? F <laughs> I can't believe this shit. You know. It's, and you know, and as far as I'm concerned, Johnny Depp is a very great actor, but that that stuff they did to Dark Shadows was like. If they're gonna remake movies, they should remake them with dogs. Or not. With the dogs? Yeah. Always Why beauty dogs? With makeup. Because do <laughs> dogs. Because dogs are cute. <laughs> yeah, dogs are cute. Are you going to do with some voices for the dogs? No, the dogs will. I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's break it down so everybody knows how to find each and every one of you. Let's go with you first, Miss Ravi. Yes, Mrs. so Ravi. We, uh, my company, Forever Magic Cosmetics, with a number four. We do have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And you can uh, look, learn more about our product or buy them on forevermagiccosmetics.com with a number four. Cool. And they can find you at R A V I T D A R C O U G A R. Um, my first and last name, I do have my personal Instagram and Facebook, which is public. It's Ravit, R A V I T, last name Daruger, D A R O U G A R. There you have it. And how can they find you, Mr. Zachary Strobel? You can find me on YouTube. Uh, uh, youtube.com uh, slash oozetunes o-o-o-z-e-t-o-o-n-s also you can find me on Facebook uh, Zachary Strobel and you can get Warren Lane on cool. Amazon very cool and how can we find you as Leah Bergman just my name Leah Bergman on Twitter and Instagram boom we're out of time and we're just Bye. off the chain as well this has been Bye. Nuclear Bye. Popcorn Bye. thank you so much <laughs> very fun thank you for coming